Welcome to another edition of LFC CLT TV. TV. I'm your host, Pastor Anthony Williams, and this is my lovely co-host, Pastor Renee. I'm so glad to see you all again. And today we're going to be talking about the subject of prepared things for prepared people. All right. Uh, it's important that we be prepared. Now, let me get this start, started off right. We're not just talking about wearing a glove or gloves, or like Pastor Renee is, talking about wearing masks. Yes, that's a part of preparation, but Pastor Renee, tell them what we're really talking about today. We're talking about being prepared for the things that God has prepared for us. You know, other people before coronavirus, we would think about things that we had to get prepared for. If we were expecting a, a new baby, we had to prepare a nursery. We had to prepare to receive that child. If you're getting married, you're making preparations for a wedding or something like that, or even making preparation for dinner. Yes. If you're going on a new job, you prepare to go on that new job or that interview. If you're a student, you prepared for a test. That's good. Preparation is so important. And it's, it's, doubly important that we prepare spiritually as well as naturally. We want to share with you what the Word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse number 9. Reading out of the King James Version, it says, Eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, nor have it entered into the heart of man the what? Things the Lord God has prepared for those who love him. And so when we understand that prepared things are for prepared people, the scripture here, the apostle Paul, lets us know that first of all, your natural eyes have not seen, neither have your natural ears heard, neither has it truly entered into your heart all the things that the Lord has prepared for those whom he loves. Now, I like this word things because things lets us know, Pastor Renee, mm -hmm. that it's not just spiritual things mm -hmm. or natural things, right. but it's things. Right. God has things, things in store for you and your family. And it is so important in this new season that we're in, that we tap into the things that God has prepared for us. But the question is, are you preparing yourself for those things? Wow. Yes, and when we look at the God's Word version of 1 Corinthians 2 and 9, yes. it says it like this, no one has ever seen or heard anything like this. That's that means it's brand new. Yes. Never so much as imagine anything quite like it, what God has arranged for those who love him. See, this is what's important about this, is that God has already made arrangements for you. Yes. You may not know that God has prepared a table for you. That's you good. may not know that God has prepared a job for you. You may not know God has prepared a husband for you or a wife for you or whatever it is that you're desiring for you, but God has already done it. It's already done in the spirit realm. God has already prepared those things for you, but it's incumbent upon you to be prepared for what God has for you. God doesn't haphazardly just think of things that he wants to give you. He has things planned for you with you in mind. Yes. He knows you because he created you. Yes. So he knows what you have need of even before you even ask. So the question is, what is your expectation? Mm -hmm. Do you have an expectation of prepared things? Do you have an expectation that God has things prepared for you? Going back to the text, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse number 9, have expectation that God has prepared for you things that your natural eyes have not seen, neither have your natural ears yes. heard, neither has it entered into your uh -huh. heart yet. I promise you, God has things prepared for you and your family. But watch this. Everything has a purpose and a plan. Wouldn't you say, Pastor Renee? Yes. That's what we have to know, that every purpose in your life, God has already laid out a plan. You can't build a house without a plan. Ah, that's good. Yes. You can't plan for your career unless you have a plan. Yes. You just can't say, you know what? You wake up one day, I'm going to be a barber. 
Well, if you don't have a plan to go to school to learn that tool, learn that trade, then you can't go into somebody's shop and say, here, I'm here to cut your hair. <laughs> you got to have a plan. You have to have a plan. And notice in Jeremiah 29 and 11, the Bible says, for I know the plans I have for you. This, yes. is, this is God speaking through the prophet Jeremiah, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. Wow. God already knows. Do you know what God knows? Huh? Yes. Uh, I want to submit to you mm -hmm. that you must first believe that God loves you and that he has a plan for your life. Oh, the, the important part of it is you must believe that God loves you. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't believe that God loves you, you won't believe he'll do anything for you. You won't believe that he'll heal you. You won't believe that he'll answer you. You won't believe that he'll provide for you. You won't believe that he'll take care of you. You won't even believe that he'll protect you. In other yes. words, if you don't believe God loves you, you'll put more confidence in the gloves and the mask than you do your God. Now, we're not saying don't wear the PP, PPE. Wear your mask. Wear your glove, but most of all, put on the protective uh, benefits of God. Amen. Have expectation that God has prepared things for you and your family. You know, I want to look back at Jeremiah 29 and 11. Okay. It says there are plans for good and not for disaster. Yes. Uh, only a good and loving God would have good plans for you. Wow. And so you have got to understand, just like you said, honey, that you got to understand that God has a good plan for you because yes. he loves you. He loves and you. And so when you tap into that, know that God has your best interest at heart. Yes. He sees the end from the beginning. Yes. And it may seem like it's not what you wanted, but it's God knows what's best for us. I know that when I was making plans and when I I was desiring to have a husband. I had a long list of things I wanted. Watch I had now. my own plan. All right. I didn't get everything on the list, but look what I got. Uh, <laughs> Amen. Uh, 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 uh. And look what I got. <laughs> That's right. God knows. He had already yes. arranged from the beginning of time that we would be together. He had arranged from the beginning of time that we would be here teaching you this word. So we want you to know that you have to have a spirit of expectation that God has a good plan in mind for you and that he loves you. And the most important thing, don't be a know-it-all. Ah, that's Don't right. be a know-it-all. I made know out my list. I thought I knew it all. Yes. But God knows more than me. Uh -huh. And so if we look at Proverbs 11 and 14, in the New Living Translation, it says, without wise leadership, yes. a nation falls. Wow. There is safety in having many advisors. Wow. It, without wise leadership, wise leadership, a nation Mm -hmm. Not just a family, not just a house or a household, but an entire nation mm -hmm. will fall. Yeah. I want to submit to you, amen, that in this season that we're in, we need wise leadership, amen? Yes. We need people that are hearing from God. We need government officials that are hearing from God. We need pastors and spiritual leaders that are truly hearing from God. I wouldn't, amen, follow anybody in this season that doesn't have a word mm -hmm. from God. Yes. It is foolishness, the Bible is saying here in Proverbs 11 and chapter 14. It says, without wise leadership, a nation falls, but ah, uh, there is safety and having many advisors. So understand, amen, that we are, we cannot know it all, but we need to surround ourselves with people that are hearing from God that can build us That's up that. and help us as we prepare ourselves for the prepared things that God has for you and for me and for our families. Yes. yes. And finally, You've got to have faith. Have faith. That's right. You may not have a clear plan in sight. You might can't see what's going on, and it looks like it's chaotic. Mm -hmm. But you've got to have faith, yes. even in the midst of a storm. You've got to have faith, even when you don't know what God is doing. Remember, faith is not seeing, mm -hmm. it's believing. That's right. In That's Hebrews right. 11 and 1, it says, now faith yes. is confidence and what we hope for 
for an assurance about what we do not see. Yes. We cannot consider what we do not see. Wow. You cannot consider what you do not see. So let us recap. Pastor Renee. Yes. But we talked about today prepared things for prepared, for prepared people. people. How are you preparing yourself mm. for the prepared things that God has already prepared for you? How are you preparing your family for the prepared things that God has in store for your family? How are you preparing yourself for the prepared things that God has for your career and, and for your future yes. and life? Yes. So we recap some of the ways that you can prepare yourself. Number one, you must believe that God loves you and has a plan for your life. That's number one. That's a reason, a way to prepare yourself. Number two, don't be a know-it-all. Wow. <laughs> don't be a know-it-all. A know-it-all will always fall. Wow. Wow. Let me say that again, Pastor Renee. Uh, say it with me. A uh, know-it-all will always fall. You don't want to be a know-it-all in this season. Humble yourself and seek the face of God. Humble yourself and see wise counsel from people that also are seeking the face of God. And then finally, have faith. Have you, faith. Uh, you ought to say it loud, loud. Have faith. Have faith. Do you have faith today? Do you have faith? faith to believe that God is going to bring you through? Do you have faith to believe that your God will bring you out of the condition and season that you are in right now? So as we pray today, we want you to realize and recognize that yes, eyes have not seen, yes, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that the Lord has prepared for those who love him. You must, while you're in this season right now, be in preparation mode. And as you're preparing yourself, know that God has already prepared things just for you. Yeah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you for this broadcast today. We thank you for every heart, every mind, every person, every life that we will touch with your word and this encouragement on today. Let them be prepared people. And if they've not been preparing themselves, let them start now. Let this be the moment that they get started. Let a flame be ignited in their hearts as well as in their minds to say, I got to get moving because God is steadily moving in my life and I want to receive everything that the Lord has prepared for me. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus name. Amen. amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day in the Lord. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed our program on today, make sure that you like and subscribe, share with your friends how much this program has been a blessing to you. All the information you need to get in touch with us, to even give and join us for our online service, it's in the description. So we'd like for you to join us for our Sunday services as well as our Tuesday Bible study. And if you'd like to give, that information can be found there as well. And remember, God loves you and so do we. God bless you and have a wonderful week.